everybody, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? And welcome back to another update video on the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge. So for this week's video, the goal was to paint up three more reavers. And I got them done, they're all finished, they're looking good. But before I jump down to the table view, make sure to check out the Sponge Hammer Facebook page. Because on that page, I have just shared Richard Granger's deck guard models. He was inspired by the Road to Gulliman Painting Challenge. And I got me inspired to kind of kick it into gear and get the deck guard side started pretty soon so make sure to check them out the models are fantastic he has a couple of plague marines and a couple of pox walkers so far and they're really great looking i like the effects on them and definitely worth giving them a like or two so make sure to check that out and i switch down to the table view and see what i did all right so here we have the three guys all finished up we have a sergeant and the two kind of normal reavers now one of the best things about these models is of course it's always going to be the face mask now i that's that's a very intimidating color to do and um, so i kind of did a little bit of research i didn't like to do too much on it so basically all i did was i think you get a better look at this guy's one all i did was uh went over it with ultuan gray i think it was two layers two very very thin layers of ultuan gray and then a very light wash of nullin oil all over you can pretty much put it all over but if you're going to like pull it up a little bit try and get it in the mouth part in those little lines and then once that's all dry just go over the highest parts with ultuan gray again and i'm pretty happy how it came out it surprised me a lot and um, it took a bit of a time because i had to get the eyes right as well and um, i don't know how people get like the little reflective dot in the eyes these are just way too small to try and do it for me and um, but i'm happy how the face masks turned out so it kind of gives me a bit more confidence to go in and do white stuff a little bit more um so i enjoy doing these as usual you know the reavers are a lot of fun to do i think the skin on the sergeant came out a little bit too bright and um, i've been trying to use rat skin flesh a little bit more and it's a little shiny almost looks like he's tanned and he has like some oil on his face maybe but and um, he's looking good you know i like how he turned out the guns looking good everything kind of turned out good on these guys the only thing is these guys were they're slot bases so i had to like put them in like that and if you notice that i usually put a bit of cork on the base and put them on top of the cork so they're like a little tiny bit higher than usual and i didn't do that with these and unfortunately i only kind of cut down when i just finished everything you can still see some of the line from the slot base that's like filled over so that's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe I'll come back and I'll rebase them. Rebasing these guys isn't too much of a big thing. Um, so I might do that in the future when everything is kind of getting near finished. And I'm kind of not as under pressure as much to get everything painted. But again, I enjoyed these guys. I love painting Reavers. They're fantastic. I was going to do them all battle damaged. I know I said that in the last video. But I completely forgot about it. I'm just so used to just doing them kind of like a standard paint job. I completely forgot about doing a battle damage effects on them. So I'll try and do that in a couple of models in the future. So for next week's update, uh, I'm going to be painting some terrain. So I'm going to be doing some terrain from the Warhammer Conquest uh, issues. Uh, because I, I, it's a lot of nice terrain I have. And it's kind of built up. And I it should, it's a shame to see it not painted up. So I'm going to paint up two of... The containers here so these are pretty big they're going to be a lot nicer to take pictures in the background so if i take pictures of the reavers use these as background and um, they're looking at nicer instead of just a plain background and i'm going to paint up two of these so i see how i get on it's been a while since i painted some terrain so hopefully they won't turn out too bad so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button make sure to check out the facebook page as i mentioned at the start of the video um, let me know what you guys think about the Gulliman painting challenge. I've had a lot of fun so far. So make sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next video.